Looking for the jeans, I'm trippin' Wanna see and see my whip, yeah All I had to do was listen Kinda got a bitch, I lit On my shot, we lit Whole lot of random bitches Whole lot of bad What's up guys, it's your boy LA Crypto Back at it again with another tutorial This one right here is a complete beginner's guide to yield farming Also known as staking AKA providing liquidity for liquidity pools Alright guys, and now welcome uh, to part 2 We're going to be covering liquidity pools and how to provide liquidity into liquidity pools So for this demonstration, I'll be using MASH um, I believe I have a little bit and we're gonna go to the liquidity pool which will be here in case you don't know how to Tell the difference between the liquidity pools and the regular staking You just got to look for two tokens if you see that there's here two tokens no matter what those two tokens are Best bet is it's gonna be uh, liquid liquidity pools if you come down Let's say uh, over here and you only see a single a single a single then that's how you know you're gonna be staking Let's go over here uh, to liquidity pools. I mean, so we're going to provide liquidity. I'm going to approve this contract over here. It's 18 cents. This is what you always have to do before you actually do anything and provide. Once that's done, I'll be able to actually provide MASH and BTC. So what I'm going to want to do is actually get MASH and BTC. And that's what I uh, was waiting on for this tutorial. So we're going to come over to trade. And we're going to click on liquidity. Most of these, I guess you can say DEXs have their own liquidity um, exchange. Other times if they don't, they're going to send you straight back to PancakeSwap. So if you get sent back to PancakeSwap, just understand, you know, get used to adding liquidity here and then doing the exact same thing. So that same thing that we're going to actually be doing will be adding liquidity and to do so, it's going to be exactly like staking. However, we're going to use two tokens. So we're going to be staking two tokens at the same time. And they're both going to be of equivalent value. So let's say you had $10 of BNB. You would be adding $10 of cake. So that's essentially uh, how this goes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting this mash that I got. And I'm going to be... Combining it with this BTC. I saw it down at the bottom. I thought it looks pretty cool So uh, let's go ahead and hit max on here and Let's go ahead and approve both Whenever you guys are actually <clears throat> doing any of these yield farms or just interacting with any of these dApps you always want to make sure you guys have some some BNB, you know, I always like to have at least 0 .1, 0 0.01 or 0.02. That allows me to be able to run through all the little different things. And, you know, it's just you got to be safe. You're not going to be able to pull the money out if you have no money to pay for the transaction. So just you guys got to remember that. So once this is done, I'll be able to actually create the uh, liquidity pool. <clears throat> And I'll be able to supply the tiny amount of liquidity I have. Sweet. So there it is. So as you saw, I had to approve both. And now I'll finally be able to have this minuscule amount. So let's go ahead and confirm this minuscule token. And let's confirm. For you guys, whatever that item is that you guys are using. Let's say uh, you're in pancake swap. Let's say... You are, um, let's go over here to B Farms. So let's say you wanted Alpha and BNB. So what you would do is exact same thing. Right here they have a nice quick button. You can click on that and they'll actually put BNB and Alpha. And just like you saw with the MASH and the BTCB, you have to have an equivalent amount of both. Come down here, approve both tokens, then supply. So what we're going to do with that MASH is we're going to come back. Back to where I was at, and let's go to that. Let's come over here, and let's provide this. Let's go ahead and stake this minuscule amount that I have, and let's confirm that. That is going to allow me to put the MASH BTC LP tokens I just created into this liquidity pool. So now that I have that, 
um, there'll be a certain percentage which is up here and it'll tell me what I'll make per day what I'll make per year etc so like I said with the power of video editing we'll just fast forward this up until uh, I do a little harvest so we can kind of see what we got all right guys so it's been about a few days um, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and harvest and withdraw the liquidity pool tokens that we had already previously placed so first things first, let's go ahead and check our MetaMask and ensure that we have 0 0.01 BNB. So that way we can go ahead and pay for the transaction fees. If we don't, just go ahead and fund your uh, BNB and you should be fine. With that being uh, checked, let's go ahead and talk about the impermanent loss, which will be obviously happening considering that, as you guys can see, the token has depreciated in value. Now for the two tutorials, I obviously picked um, Pancake Swap and Bunny for the staking as it really wouldn't be that much in price fluctuation, mostly positive. But as <clears throat> Marshmallow is more of a degen um, platform, I, uh, I knew there would be a permanent loss. So this would be a good way to show that. So if you guys can see in the first part of the tutorial, um, it was about uh, $20 or so. So it looks like we went in half in price. But um, <clears throat> that's to be expected if you're uh, going to be setting and forgetting in the degen farm. So always remember that, guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and uh, let's go check on the pool. So on this side, um, I had decided to join this uh, crazy looking liquidity pool. I saw this insane number and I thought I was going to be a uh, moon rocket millionaire. Turns out uh, it's not how it works. So let's go ahead and we can either harvest by clicking harvest that will take whatever we have earned here and send that straight to our MetaMask upon clicking harvest you will confirm I won't since I'll just be pulling everything we got so I'll be rejecting that so the next thing what we'll do is actually unstake all the liquidity pool tokens that we have actually placed so what we're gonna do is we are gonna be pressing the minus uh, button you see here that'll bring up this option we're gonna click max and we are gonna confirm once again, MetaMask is going to come down and we're going to confirm that that's what we want to do. Okay, and we got the confirmation. So <clears throat> now we can check and see that, yep, our stake is at zero. So we do have the tokens. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and switch these MASH BTC PLP tokens um, back to uh, MASH and BTCB. And uh, what I like to use is PancakeSwap. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, switch over to PancakeSwap and we are going to switch to the liquidity section here and you'll see that we have a swap liquidity bridge. So we're going to make sure we're under liquidity and our liquidity token should automatically show up here. So what we're going to do is click on our tokens that we have and we're going to click on remove. Um, clicking on remove it's going to ask us how much of the liquidity do we want to remove and we're going to want to remove all of it since I want my BTCB back and I want my 0.5 MASH back. So uh, upon doing so, it's gonna ask us to approve. So we're gonna go ahead and approve. We're gonna sign this function. And then um, as soon as that confirmed, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove. So we're gonna click confirm and then we're gonna continue and click confirm. As soon as that's confirmed by the uh, MetaMask, we will uh, have both BTCB and MASH in our uh, wallets, respectively. And there it is. There's our uh, confirmation that everything went through. So if we were able to go up to our <clears throat> our MetaMask, we should be able to see uh, where was our MASH at. I think this was our MASH. Yep, now we're at 0.6. And... Uh, Where's my BTCB at? Jesus, I never remember where it's at. Well, the BTCB is there somewhere. So, um, <clears throat> with that being said, um, actually here it is right here is my BTCB. So with that being said, that actually covers how to stake um, liquidity pool tokens. And um, the choice literally is up to you on where you want to stake your liquidity. And like I said before, you choose the two tokens that you want to stake and you essentially have a um, equal amount of both 
that will turn into the liquidity pool tokens. And then once you have created them, you can then go to the farm that requested those uh, tokens and just go ahead and stake. So um, almost every single uh, DAP has their own different <clears throat> farms or pools, but it's all going to be essentially mechanically the same. So with that being said, the only other thing that you would do from here on would be to switch or exchange the um, tokens individually, either to a stable coin or into uh, any other thing that you would like. So um, with that being said, uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. And um, if this helped you out, I appreciate you to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Take care.